Hey there, today I'm going to show you three things to know about using fabrics with a nap in your upholstery project. So what is nap? Nap is the little hairs on a fabric with a pile that stick up and lie in one direction. So it's like a directional weave of the fabric. In this velour, the nap is up the roll. And the first thing I usually do before I cut out any pieces is I mark some tape and I have a whole bunch of these, for one for each piece, and I mark the direction of the nap. And you can mark it either way, up or down, just be consistent. That's the first thing I do. You'll be cutting your pieces all in one direction so that the nap on your fabric is consistent on your chair. And I'll show you that in a second. But for right now, I've just cut out this piece from this fabric. You can tell it's the same fabric. And I just want to demonstrate, if you get it turned around, what happens. So if you get a piece that's opposite, it looks like two separate pieces of fabric. So you always want to be sure to put your arrow as a guide. The second thing is when you're sewing two pieces together, because of the nap, it will want to slip in one direction. So I advise using lots of pins to keep your fabric lined up so it doesn't slip. Now this piece, I'll just show you on the chair here. Actually, do this. If I were putting this fabric on this chair, I want the nap to go down. So this is the smooth way. The rough way is up. So it's like petting your dog. You want to pet them the smooth way. So basically down on the vertical surfaces and to the front on any horizontal surface, such as a cushion. So on both sides of your cushion, you'll want to make sure they're going in the same direction. So to recap, one, mark the direction of your fabric with a piece of tape and an arrow. Two, be consistent with the direction of your fabric on your chair. And three, when sewing pieces together, be sure to use lots of pins to keep it from slipping. Good luck with your project.